Hey everyone, thanks for joining. It's Patty from PS Paper Crafts, and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little card. Happy birthday! And when you open it up, it has a little slot for a gift card. So isn't that cool? It's um, a normal size card, but it's uh, it's folded an extra time. So I'll show you how all the steps. I saw this on a video I was watching from uh, Jackie Bolhuis. Bolhuis. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. But I thought it was really um, pretty, and she had a different stamp set and everything that she used, different paper. So I wanted to change it up. So I am using this beautiful paper, and it's uh, the best dress paper. It's six by six, and I just love all the different florals in it. It's just so beautiful. This is my favorite, I think, in the whole bunch, and that's why I'm using it. But it's really has just such pretty papers and then the other side has all this like lipstick and perfume and pocketbooks and stuff like that um, so it's got some nice things and I'm using this striped so anyway let us get started so I'm using Blackberry Bliss and this is so perfect with this I love Blackberry Bliss um, so anyway this is a kind of a top folding card which means that um, it's four and a quarter by 11. So you're gonna cut your cardstock in half right down the middle here. So it would be, you know, uh, eight and a half. So we're gonna cut her at four and a quarter. And then we're going to score it at five and a half. And this is where you'd get just your normal top folding card, right? And I'm gonna just uh, use my bone folder to make it nice and uh, neat. But then I went and I also scored it at nine and a quarter. So I did five and a half, and then I went all the way out to nine and a quarter. So I'm gonna fold that one as well. And let's just make sure it's nice and flat as well. And this is where we're gonna use our little pocket for the inside. So that's the basic card, pretty easy, right? And I'm going to punch the end of this with um, the punch that I'm using to cut out the happy birthday. And this is called the label, label Me Lovely Punch. So I'm just gonna go in just a little bit, just until it gets past this little fancy part here. And I wanna make sure it's kind of centered between. And that's just gonna give me um, my little place to put my gift card. Just makes it a little bit fancier. So we have our pieces, um, or our card base, and now what I have is a piece of uh, this designer series paper, and this, I'm going to have all of the measurements on my blog, PSPaperCrafts.com, so don't worry about um, trying to keep track of it. But this is um, one and a half by four, and then this one is three and a half by four, and the inside is also three and a half by four. So you'll see how easy this is to put together. Um, and then I just took a piece of scrap. So let's just put these aside and we'll do our stamping. And I'm using Blackberry Bliss ink. And then I'm using this Happy Birthday um, from, let me get it out, this Layered with Kindness. So you can punch everything all together. You stamp it and then you punch it with that punch. You could do for my friend, thank you for your kindness. You can also um, stamp and punch this out and then um, put another, there's another punch you can use. I think it's called Label Me Lovely and that will punch and cover this part. So if you wanted a different sentiment. So it's pretty cool. So let's get our um, sentiment. Uh, I have it mounted. We're going to just ink it up and put it on a piece of scrap. And then I'm going to just put that aside because we'll do our inside while we're stamping. And then this just fits in like this. Perfect, right? And you just want to make sure there's even white around the edges. So we'll put that aside. And then let's get our inside piece. Now the inside for this card I used another sensational year of you. I'm going to do the same thing, and this is a free celebration through March 31st, 2020, um, and it's just some sentiments. So I thought that was nice. Another sensational year of you, or you could do with a great big wish for happiness or something like that. So I'm going to do the same that I already did. I actually have it mounted. So I'm just going to also ink this up 
make sure it's going the right way. And we'll just put it up here. And then I just took a couple of the flowers from the Layered with Kindness and put one on each side. You can, um, you know, grab something from another stamp set. You can put any, any kind of inside sentiment if you have another birthday stamp and whatever, whatever you want to put on it. Your decision, your choice. So let's put this together. Um, we'll put all the layers. Let me get this out of the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just adhere everything. Uh, this piece we'll put down with some liquid glue. Isn't that pretty on the back? I love flowers, so this is just right up my alley. We want to make sure that's closed so we can have this um, centered within this little area. Okay. And let's put this piece together. Now for the inside, I'm going to use a strong tape, a strong glue. You could use the liquid glue and just really hold it for a minute, but I'm going to use the tear and tape. And uh, this is really strong and it's easy to use. And you just want to put it all the way on the edge. You don't want to go in too far because you want to leave room for your, um, your gift card. Okay, we'll put one piece up there. Where's the end? Round and round we go. And we'll do another piece here. Got a little fuzz there. Okay, so we can put this right up at the fold and as close to the edge as we can. Now if you go off um, too long, you could just bend it backwards once you take this um, this piece off the release paper. So if it was too far out, you could just bend it over. If it was hanging over the side, um, it just will stick down on itself and it'll be perfect. Sometimes it takes me a minute to get the release paper started. Then I'm just going to fold this down and make sure that it's lined up. And there we go. Okay, and then we're going to um, put some ribbon around this layer before we put it down. So I have this Daffodil Delight ribbon. I love that everything coordinates, right? You have the Daffodil Delight ribbon, you've got the Blackberry Bliss that goes with the paper, and the... Um, the ink that goes with the Blackberry Bliss. So I, that's one thing that I love about stamping up is that, you know, you buy a product and all the colors just coordinate so nicely together. Now I'm gonna put this down with some Scotch tape. I'll just take two pieces off. And we'll just put it right down the back. That's a pretty color too. And make sure that it's even across and just have it taped down. There we go. So let's put this down with some liquid adhesive. Liquid adhesive. Liquid glue. It sounded funny when I said it. Okay, just a little bit all around and then we want to Make sure this is centered and try to line it up so it's good with that yellow paper. Okay, and then we're going to put this sentiment on with dimensionals. Getting low on dimensionals here, but you can always cut these, cut these pieces and get the most out of it. So let me get my scissors and I'm just gonna cut up And get some of these big pieces. These are good to cut and um, lay in a, a long thin piece like a sentiment label that would be long and thin. So it's good to use all of it. And let's just do one more right here. I know I'm overdoing it with these but better to have too many than too few, right? So let's just take all the backs off of here. But isn't this pretty? I just 
am in love with this paper. It is so pretty. Wouldn't you love to receive a card like this on your birthday? Okay. So we're just going to center this. Make sure it looks good and press it down. Perfect. Okay, actually, let's put our inside layer down while we have our glue out. And again, we want to make sure this is kind of centered with the yellow and that it's not over too far because you don't want it to show through. So we're almost done. I'm going to make a bow. And I've been using this bow maker tool. They have a lot of these on. The, the, somebody made this for me. Um, somebody's husband, actually. So um, I know I see a lot of them on, you know, if you Google it, I think there's a 10 minute bow maker or something like that, or 10 minute, 10 second bow maker. And you just kind of go around and go through and get it all kind of lined up. And then you're going to just tie it. And I probably went a little overboard with the length, but I like to have um, some working room. And then I just cut the edges, cut the tips off. So here we go. So see, I'm wasting a lot, but that's how I, I do my bows. <laughs> Sometimes I, if you cut it too short, you're just fumbling through it, so. And we'll just give it some nice ends. And then we're going to put this on with a glue dot. So I'll just take my glue dot, and I just like to peel it off and get it on my finger. And put it on the back of the bow. And then you can just press that right down. So there you go, and you could just kind of play with it. You can put more glue dots if you want to hold it in place a different way. And then the last thing I did was I put some um, of the rhinestones on. So on this card, I have these pretty rhinestones, and I didn't want them to be just the plain old rhinestones. I wanted to color them. So I'm using my dark Blackberry Bliss um, Stampin' Blends. Now you can't do this with the Stampin' Write markers. That one's a little funny. But the Stampin' Blends are alcohol-based, so you can color them, and they dry really quick, and they stay on. If you did the Stampin' Write markers, the ones that are round, they're not as chunky as these, um, those are water-based, and you don't want to use them um, to color non-porous things. And I am going to be posting a, a kind of a cheat sheet about Stampin' Blends versus Stampin' Write markers. So it will help because I know a lot of people um, aren't sure which marker to use for what kinds of things. So I'm going to lay that all out, keep an eye on my um, blog, and you'll see it in the next few days. So this is the card. Let's take our waffle cone ice cream gift card out of here. That place is really good. It's down at the beach where I live. And put it in here. Aren't they cute? I love them. And they were so easy to make. I think I'm going to put another glue dot on this guy and hold him down. So let me do that right now so you'll see what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to put it right under here. You could even put it on the tail if you want. Just kind of hold it in place. There you go. Easy. All right. Well, thanks for joining me. I hope you're all doing well, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.